with us live in our penthouse studios. And good news for all lovers of opera out there, and even for those that really want to get into this uh, very much respected and classic art form as the Cape Town Opera season that started off in April continues now at the Baxter Theatre with uh, Mozart's theatrically daring Don Giovanni. You can catch that on a specific day. We'll tell you all about that right now. But let's meet some of the cast members and, of course, the conductor, uh, Kamal Khan. Great to have you with us again. Mr. Tisela, how are you? I'm good. Good, to be good, good, good. Yes. Milady, how are you? Uh, I nearly forgot you? your name there at the moment. Let me just get to it. Uh, Ulinda and then Rian. Great to have you back okay. here. Again, not as part of Bravo as you were last time yes, here. Yes, yes, but uh, yes. let's talk about this, this, this show, uh, Don Giovanni. We've all heard a little bit about it. Tell me a bit about the, the, the story behind the story. Well, it's our it's at uh, UCT Cape Town Opera collaboration. Uh -huh. We're doing it's the story of literature's greatest lover or literature's guy who got the most girls yeah, or yeah, yeah. literature's guy who thinks he's God's gift to women or all of the above. Oh, all of he the has other. no boundaries. <laughs> he has no morals. He's quite consistent about it, so you could say he's the most honest person in the show because he mm. lives by his code. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and you've chosen these two guys to, to play the part of Don Giovanni, Tisela and, and Rian. What, he, having heard that, how does that make you feel on national TV? <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes me well, feel it's, good. That's exactly what every guy wants to be. Yeah. Every, every guy wants to be a Don Giovanni. Every guy wants to know how to tackle women. Everybody, every, sure, well, surely most, guy want, most guys want to know how to be able to get, you know, because for some men, it's a goal having yeah, more than one woman. You know. Giovanni is a bit psycho, you know, he can adapt to anything, you know, when he's around common people, he can adjust to that and he can be common as well, just to conquer wow. another lady, you know, when he's with upper class people, he can be this upper class dude as well. It sounds so like you, you've done a lot more research than what is necessary <laughs> <laughs> in, yeah. into, the, into this character. <laughs> Linda, tell me a bit about your, your character that you play, Terlina. Terlina, I'm a peasant girl who's about to get married until Don Giovanni shows up and seduces me and then somehow I fell for his tricks. Mm. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> and yes, uh, because he's a rich guy, noble guy, so I thought, okay, let me just give it a try. Mm -hmm. He's gonna take me to the upper class. Yeah, and yeah. make your life different. Of Why course. should people go and watch the show? Um, because there's a lot of really great looking young people with really great voices on the stage, frankly. Uh, also because it's probably the greatest opera Mozart ever wrote and arguably the greatest opera ever written. Yeah. If you had to put into a capsule everything that makes opera interesting, drama, pathos, comedy, musical structure, orchestral writing, it's all in this opera. This would be the one opera that you could take to another galaxy and try to persuade them why we <laughs> did all this work for this particular art form, mm -hmm. how utterly universal it is. I think we could make it make sense to anybody that had intelligence, even if they were a visitor from another planet. Fantastic. So well, thank you very much, welcome. guys. It's great having you here. Check them out from the 20th to the 24th of August at the Baxter Theatre. After this break, a live performance.